Hello, I'm Bob White with Cole Morgan, and this is Why Motion Matters. Many applications require a very compact and high-performance solution. A frameless motor built into the application can reduce weight, reduce required space, reduce parts count, reduce maintenance, and increase performance. But even with all of these benefits, some engineers have concerns about the difficulty of mounting a frameless motor into their application. A frameless motor comes as a part set, which includes the stator and the rotor. These two parts are the permanent magnets and electromagnets that make up the motor. Missing are the housing, bearing, and feedback device, which are part of the machine. There are several mounting options that are acceptable for a frameless motor. These are clamping, bonding, or bolting. Clamping allows the motor assembly to be removed as desired by simply removing the mounting hardware. The bolting method is the simplest form and allows for large frameless motors to be more easily mounted into the machine. Bonding provides a more permanent solution and, in most applications, is the preferred method. Where temperature variations take place during operation, bonding is the preferred method due to the adhesive's ability to expand and contract while maintaining its structural integrity. The method you will use will be based upon your experience and the requirements of your application. One of the most commonly discussed concerns about integrating frameless motors into an application is the thought that the motor needs to be removable. This is an artifact of having to replace the motor when it fails. More often than not, the replacement need arises from a failure of the bearing, worn shaft components, or failed feedback device, rather than the rotor or stator. Once this is understood, the acceptance of an embedded motor is easier. A customer building a frameless motor into their application, as in this example, may choose to employ two mounting methods. PushCorp, a manufacturer of high-speed end-of-arm tools, uses both the bonding and clamping method to assemble the motor into their housing. The stator assembly is bonded into the housing. The stator sleeve is scarfed, a method to create long grooves, by using 80-grit sandpaper. After cleaning and priming, Loctite 609 is applied to the inside of the housing and the stator sleeve. The stator is inserted into the housing and rotated to evenly distribute the Loctite before aligning the stator to its final location. In this example, where the motor leads will exit the housing. When this process is done vertically, the natural hydrodynamics of the industrial adhesive will naturally center the stator in the housing. The rotor is clamped onto the shaft using a locking ring. The shaft has been machined to the specifications of the rotor using standard machining tolerances. Bearings are added to the shaft and assembly is then balanced. The completed assembly is pressed into the housing and is ready for final testing. As you can see, once the preparation is made for the frameless motor to become part of your machine, the assembly is fairly straightforward. Since building the motor into the machine will eliminate the need for a shaft and coupling, the performance is increased and maintenance of the motor is eliminated. I'm Bob White for Why Motion Matters. Join me for our next segment.